Good morning and we are on our way to Brands Hatch for the second to last, the penultimate round of the British GT Championship. Uh, last time out at Spa we had good races and bad races, uh, but we've cemented ourselves as championship contenders uh, as we are almost on level points going into these final two rounds with our main championship rivals. I think we've now overcome the circuits where the Ginettas are slightly uh, disadvantaged with the straight lines of the likes of, sort of um, Silverstone and Spa and we're now at Brands Hatch Grand Prix at Donington um, where it's going to play to the strengths of the Ginetta, the high speed corners where the lightweight and aerodynamics of the, the Ginettas will really play into our hands. Brands Hatch is an awesome track, probably one of my favourites, especially in a G55, out the back, the back half of the circuit is absolutely epic. Um, we are um, yeah, looking for a strong strong result this weekend. We've done a couple of test days, both me and Alex, uh, well track days, sorry, in my lease. Uh, I've done some training days in my lease as well, so we've had some customers along in which I've been teaching them around it, which I help, which I think helps get your mind into the circuit because you're having to obviously teach people about it, um, as well as um, me and Alex went down and did a day as well along with Callum McLeod. So I think our eyes are pretty much in for the circuit, so we should we should hit the ground running, which is the plan. So let's go over to um, some free practice in, um, one and two and qualifying, and we'll catch up after qualifying. after an hour and a half's worth of cleaning, all the bodywork stripped off, everything gutted, right back to the chassis almost. The car is now clean. Um, so when you go off and you pick up gravel like that, it literally goes absolutely everywhere. So big, big shout out to the Lannan boys for uh, just cracking on as they did. First of all, turning the car around as quick as they did to get Alex out for second qualifying. Um, and then, yeah, for their hard work of pulling the car, car apart. So, yeah, we now, we now have a clean and ship-shaped car ready for tomorrow. We're just about to go and do some pit stop practices ready for the two-hour race tomorrow. Um, so, yeah, raring to go. Looking at the times and everything, I think we're going to have good pace in the dry, which we should be dry tomorrow. So, um, starting from P4, I'll be starting from P4. Um, I think we'll be in for a, a good race, a competitive race, so should hopefully try and clear the other silver drivers that are ahead of me and then make a break for it at the front, so that's the plan and uh, yeah, we'll see how we go. So yeah, practice session, um, pit stop practice, pizza and then bed. That's the plan for tonight, we'll catch up tomorrow. Ciao, ciao.
the start of the race, he just settled into a rhythm. He didn't get involved in any battles that weren't his. Did his thing and come the end of this stint, he's right there and yep. did a terrific job. Oh, definitely David got Pittard. an issue. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. I think um, something on that right front. I think because it's very uncharacteristic for him to go off anywhere, let alone twice on one lap. So definitely an issue. But hopefully he can run the clock down. Ah, oh, he's going to come in straight away now. I was going to say, if he can run it down to try and always not go around for a lap, yeah. run it down Ooh. to the pit window. Looks like right front. So I just left Rams Hatch on a beautiful summer's evening. Um, yeah, didn't go our way, unfortunately. A broken steering um, Ackerman's Clevis, to be precise, a uh, sheared one, meant that we had no steering on the right wheel, the front right wheel, uh, which meant we had to come in a little bit early regards to the pit stop window for the two hour race at Brands Hatch. Um, swap that over, get it fixed. Lannan boys did a mega job, they only dropped, we only dropped eight laps, so uh, it's a fantastic job to turn the, the car around in as quick as they did. Um, unfortunately you're never going to make eight laps back in one hour remaining of the race. So um, as a result we batted round for the final sort of hour of the race, but unfortunately just a long way down. Uh, Alex bought the home, bought the car back. Uh, did a good job. So, yeah, one of those things, unfortunately, very frustrating. Puts us 25 points uh, behind the championship lead with 37.5 on offer. So, we will be going guns blazing at Donington Park in about six weeks' time. Uh, so, there's a long, long gap towards the end of the season. So, yeah, see what we can do, really. A shame, but one of those things. So, yeah, signing off from Brown's Hatch. Catch up at Donington next time out. We'll be fully fired up.